Hi everyone, this is Cody, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a review of the Cyborg Rat 7 Gaming Mouse. Now, I have done an unboxing and a how to customize it video, uh, so you can check them out. Uh, but for this review, I'm just going to be talking about the mouse. It has plenty of accessories and everything, but uh, just in this video, I'm covering the mouse. So, the good things about the mouse are that... Um, well, basically you have ultimate customability. Like, you can customize the hardware and the software. Like, uh, I could change, for example, this. I can s pull it off. I could replace it with a different one. Like, there's... I have this in, like, my uh, How to Customize It video. But there's lots of different, like, uh, different palm rests you can put on. There's different pinky rests. I like the grippy ones. But there are ones, like... For example, there's uh, these like ones that are raised up, then there's the standard one, and then there's like uh, the pinky rest that comes with this pinky rest that's kind of like sticks it up like that. And let's put that back in there. And if it will go in. Let's see, and then there's this this one here, it's just a standard one. And then there's the grippy one, which I have on there, which is my favorite. And then there's also weight. There's this little weight cartridge, which has different weights in it. And you can put different weights in it, like on the bottom. There's this tool that comes out, and then this slides off. And you can customize different weights, I have it set up for what I like. Then this tool here can be used for customizing all the different parts of it, which I go over in my other video. So uh, that's kind of the customizilla. Cust blah. That's kind of the some of the stuff about the hardware and the scroll wheel. It's quite nice. I mean, it's kind of loose compared to some mice, but I actually like that. It still has a very good ratchet feel to it, and then you can click on it. It's very nice. It's not too hard to click, but and then uh, the mouse buttons, I click like really. They're really responsive. Like you barely have to push down, and it clicks. You don't have to push down like two inches, like it feels like on some like older mice. And then it has for gaming. This is good. This extra scroll wheel. For example, in Minecraft, like it's kind of a pain to do that. Is let's say you're there's a zombie, for example, and you're fighting him, and then you're finding the most like a block of dirt and you need to get your sword out because you were like I don't know what you'd be doing with dirt but anyway and you have to stop while you change whereas with this you can keep clicking and stuff and change whatever you want to change like weapons or whatever and then here's the rapid or the precision aim so if you want to like shoot someone or something for example you'd hold that down that slows down the sensitivity of it and you can customize how much it slows it down. And then there's these buttons. And you can customize this button, this button, this button, this button, or both of these to do anything you want. I think you can customize that. I think you can even customize what the scroll wheel does. There's a lot of stuff you can customize with it. And then it's like it goes up to a really like high. Um, DPI. It goes up to 6,400 uh, DPI, which makes it like, I don't use it at that, but it can. And then it has three. You can have, you set up a profile where you like program, or not program, but you set all the different commands. And it has some presets. Then you can make your own commands and different things for it, like these buttons. And uh, there's three different modes in a profile, which is the, um, the thing that you can like set. And it, you can have it power up on that with your computer. And these, there will be a red mode, a uh, blue mode, and a pink mode. You can switch between that while using the mouse, and I'll change the features. Whoop, sorry, I bumped the camera. I always do that in my videos. And then there's some lights here. Of th Those will light up, and they'll be like red dots of your sensitivity. And you can adjust like how far the thumb thing is, up and down. Like, it can go out, and then it can also go forward and backwards. Same with this. 
well, and that didn't really have that much adjustment, but um, I think it's a really good mouse, and the pricing on it is going to be about, oh yeah, and the cord, I forgot to mention the cord, it's quite nice, it's abraded, it's kind of thick, but, I mean, it's, it's good, it's really long, not too long, but long enough it will reach pretty much wherever you need to plug it into, uh, then it has this gold-plated USB jack on this one end. Not focus. My new lighting setup, it should focus really fast, but there we go. Too far up. And uh, there's the USB. has their logo there. It's quite nice. And then the wear and tear on this mouse, you can kind of see, like, the finish. It's not worn off. Like, you can still feel it, but it's, like... It kind of looks, you can tell where your finger's been, like you can see, and same like here, you can see like where a finger's been, and that's going to happen with any mouse, but it it doesn't happen that much here, and especially on the grip, you don't see any like wear and tear, but up to now it's not like have much wear and tear on it. I've had it, uh, let's see, maybe like nine months now, and it's been really great, so I definitely recommend getting one of these mice if you are looking for kind of a high-priced mouse. And they do make a wireless version, but I got the wire version since it's cheaper. This one will run you around. Uh, you can find it like at places for like 80 bucks, but I think it's originally like 100 bucks. So 100 or 80 bucks, not 100 and 80, but usually around 100. But you can find it for 80 like at Amazon. They do make a white version as well, which I don't know, I think it costs more, so got the black. But that's it for this review. Um, I'm planning to have a schedule to upload a video every Friday in the future. I don't know what type of video it'll be, but that I am going to make a schedule, upload a video every Friday. And that's it for now. Make sure to follow me on Twitter if you want to. If you enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more of me in the future, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will see you all in the next video.